Welcome back to Quora Solutions Academy. Quora Solutions Academy. On this video, I'll be working you on the combination of functions. We have been on function, you know, and uh, is a continuation of uh, function, which I've told you that function is also known as uh, mapping, which, you know. And uh, when we talk about combination of function, the outline, we talk about the definition of this combination of function and composition, composition of what? Function and examples, you know, is very common in most exams, uh, you know, especially WAHEC, uh, GRE, and so on and so forth. Now, when we talk about, uh, let me quickly try to explain and define it. There are several ways of of combining two or more or more function to get a uh, function sorry functions together 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 um for instance if i have for instance for example f of x equals to x squared g of x equals to 3x i can say that what f of x plus g of x which it will be equals to x squared plus 3x now i can also repeat by saying that what f plus g bracket of what x can also be equals to x plus what okay let me just put can also be equals to f of j plus what g of x which also saying the same thing, x squared plus 3x. And uh, I can also say that, um, for instance, can you see, let me just quickly prove this. If my f of x, if my, my x, for instance, my x equals to 2, if my x equals to 2, come here, it means I'll be having 2 squared, which is going to be 4 plus 6. Now, Look at this. Also, I think I'll be having which it will surely give us the same answer. It will also be equal to 10. Take note of that. That's what we need to work on. Now, before we go into the uh, composite, note that if I have some and I have um, difference and I have product and I have potent. Now, this is what I'm trying to work on. Now, this is um, f of plus g, f of minus g, and f dot g, and um, f all over what? g. Take note of that. That is what I'm talking about. In normal form, it means I'll be having f plus g bracket of x of x f minus g of x and uh, f dot g of x i can close like this and uh, and also i will be talking about um, um f divided by g of what of x they are all the same thing they are all the distance they are within the range which you all know that uh, if I try to work on that, for instance, I set up my f to be this, h, I mean this to be this, the output will just be what? I'll be having, um, it will be, hope I'm making sense, yes, I'm making sense. It will be what? x squared plus what? 3x, x squared minus 3x, and x squared dot 3x, which I also call this as a x squared all over what, 3x, which I'll be having one, I mean, x all over 3, and uh, this also 3x squared cube, and this also become, it will be the way it is, and uh, it will also be the way it is. Now, take note of this. Note that with what I've explained earlier, this is polynomial. Polynomial function, take note of that. Polynomial function, 
also also rational function also rational function and this is also polynomial it means everything is polynomial take note of that with what i've explained in the previous video please take note of that very very important i think uh, by solving this uh, i think i've achieve something now let me try to give example on combination permit me to rub this sorry permit me to rub this let me rub this first let me rub this okay for better understanding don't forget to share this video across your friend and um, subscribe if you have not subscribed before kindly press the subscribe button okay Now, now I just need to work on something like this. Um, uh, for instance, if if f of x equals to three x minus one, and g of x equals to x squared plus three x, find f plus g of x one two f minus g of x three i have f of g of x four i have f of g of x now i just need to work on okay another one five i have um f of f of x now look at this it's a very simple one that really explain all what i've been I mean, trying to work on now when i have something like this solution to this problem the first thing you need to understand is that uh, we have f of x equals to 3s minus 1 g of x equals to x squared plus 3x now what you just need to do is that uh, if I have in addition, it means my f plus g of x, we just like uh, x plus 1, I mean minus 1 rather, bracket of x squared plus 3x plus. Now, since it's plus, it means it will be, it will surely give me, uh, it will be equals to x squared plus 6x minus 1. That is all. That is all. Now, another one we just need to work on. When you have f minus of x will be equals to 3x minus 1 minus x squared minus 3. Mm -hmm. No, just this. Which I will be surely having. Don't forget, once I'm not using the bracket, it means I will open the bracket before the minus which i'll be having this we cancelled out sorry i don't need to be wasting my space sorry about that this we cancel out and uh, i'll be having minus x squared minus one now another thing you need to understand is that um, f of g of x will be equals to what is my f of it means we are talking about what s my g of x, it means I'm talking about f inside my f inside this, which is, yes, hope I'm not making a mistake. No, 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 I've made a mistake. It's a product, it's a product which I need to work on, um, um, which is also can be equal to f of x and g of x which is also because to um 3x minus 1 and x squared plus 3x and you can now open your brackets and continue with what you are doing the last part okay so the last part i have f bracket all over g of f now what i just need to do what is my f i have 3x minus 1 divided by what um x squared minus which is going to be plus that is going to be the last one we have 
1 all over 2 f of x. It means 1 all over 2. What is my f of x? I have um, s minus 1. That is all about that. I just need to, I think you need a very good to go now. Now, with this, we should be able to understand what is called a uh, composite composition. Now, some people call it composite, you know, which is a matter of English language. Now, when you have something like this, it's very, very funny. It means at this point of time, we are taking something inside something. It will, be, it will be inside something. Now, definition. Now, for for function functions g x map what y and f x or f y map z that the the composition of f function is the with sorry with which is the function f of s mapping z defined by f of g of s equals to f g of x. Now, that is what we talk about on composite function. Now, composite function is a very simple part and is very common. Now, it's very, very common. For example, if, for example, if f of x equals to s squared and g of s equals to 3x. Now, it's different from combination. When we combine, it's different from what composite. Now, my composite function is just like, now, I'm asked to find um, f of what? Of g. Now, what you just need to do, I just need to work on f bracket of g of x and bracket, which it will be equals to f of of g of f of x now that is what we mean by can you see is different from this now this one is one of off now what you just need to do what is my f of x it means my f of what is my g my g is this it means of three will be equals to what is my f I'll be having 3x bracket of what? Squared, which is 9x squared. That is my function of composite. I think you may not be able to see it very clearly. Eh? Let me try to look for one nice example. Now, if I have, um, okay. For instance, if I'm asked to find f of g of what? Of two. It means my f of g of 2 will be equals to what? I'll be having what? Um, 9 bracket of 2 squared, which is going to be 4. That will be 36. That is my function. Now, um, before I just move on, I think I need to show example here that we explain that very well. Now, two function two, sorry, two function, two functions, f and g, are defined are defined over the sets r, set of real number, set of r, please, set of real number, as I mean, as follows f of x map to what s minus 3, g of x map to s squared plus 5. Find 
f of g of s minus 1. Now, look at this solution to this problem. We were told that this can also be written as f of x equals to what 2x minus 3. And g in this also can be written as what x squared plus 5. Take note of that. Since it can be written that way, I cannot continue by having... Now, back to the discussion. We have this of this. Now, my g of x, take note, g of x minus 1 will surely be x minus 1 squared plus 5. Which g of minus 1 will be equals to x squared minus 2x plus 1 plus, which I'll be having g of plus 6. That is, that is that. Since I have that, I will now continue by having f of g of x minus 1. Now, you all know that g of x minus 1 is this. It's also equals to f of x squared plus, I mean, minus 2x plus 6. Take note of that. Now, which can now be equals to, what is my f? This is my f. I'll be having 2 bracket of x squared, 2x plus 6, and minus 3. Now, it means I'll be having 2x squared minus 4x plus 12 minus 3, which I'll be having 2x squared minus 4x, and I'll be having plus 9. That is my answer. Okay, um, that is what we mean by composite of mapping. Now, let me, I mean, composite function. Before I hand this part, let me try to show one or two examples, more examples on composite. Can you see combination? Can you see composite? Composite is different from com uh, combination. They are not the same thing. It's not like this definition very well. It's very, very important. Now, look at this. Now, look at this. I just want to work on this particular part. I have some problems there which are roots. Okay, if, if f of p equals to p, p squared plus 4p minus 3, comma, g of p equals to 2p plus 1, and h of p equals to absolute value of p. Find 1. I have f of g of p b, which is going to be 2. I have f of g of h of p and C, I mean 3, I have G of F of 1. Now, this is a very good example that can come out in any form, in any of those um, questions. What you just need to do is not add. Is not add. What you just need to do, we all know that um, my G of P, number 1, solution to number 1, my g of p will be equals to 2p plus 1. It means my, my f of g of p will be equals to my f of, of what? 2p plus 1. That is what we are talking about. Because g of p himself is equal to this. And uh, it means which implies, uh, what is my f? It means I'll be having p plus 1 squared plus 4 bracket of 2p plus 1 minus 3. Now, which I'll be having 4p squared plus, plus, um, 
plus uh, this times this times two plus four p plus one plus eight p plus four minus three. Now, which I'll be having four p squared. This this I'll be having plus twelve p, and um, this one will be one. One plus two. That is my. It means my f of g of p would be equal to that. That is what we are talking about. Now, and um, hope I'm not making a mistake. No problem. Now, I have something like this. Let me try to work on the second one, which I have f of g of h of p. Now, look at this. What I just need to do, let me start from the inner container. The inner container is this. My h of p will be equal to absolute value of p. Now, that is the case. Now, it means my g of h of p will be equal to g of absolute value of p. Now, what is my g of absolute value of p? It means back to what? To G here. Yeah? It means I'll be having two absolute value of P plus two. That is what we are talking about. Now, it means my F, G, H, P. That is will be equal to um, F of 2p absolute value plus 2. That is what we are talking about. It means, what is my f of function? f function is going to be f of p, we all know that is p squared plus 4p minus 3. It means my, which it will be function of 2p absolute value plus 3 will be equals to, I have 2 absolute value plus 3 squared plus 4 bracket of 2 absolute value plus 3 and the close bracket minus what 3 that is what we just need to work on and uh, I think I'll be having 4 absolute value squared sorry not months and uh, I'll be having plus or um, I have 6 I have 12 absolute value of P and um, I hope I'm not making a mistake and uh, I'll be having 12 and also I'll be having um, here will be which is going to be plus 8 absolute value of P plus 12 minus 3 which I can now say that uh, this and this, 12 and that will be 20. I'll be having 20 and uh, we we'll continue and we we'll consider, which will be 4p absolute value squared plus what? Eight, uh, that will be 20 absolute value of p plus what? Plus uh, 9. That's all. That's all. That is all. Now, that is what we are talking about. Can you see what is called control side mapping? That is very, very simple. Now, before I end this part, I think uh, you can see it's very simple. I'll be stopping. I'll be stopping here. Don't forget to share to your friends and uh, to everybody around you. We in the next video we'll be working on the inverse function. Just note that any question you have, drop your comment. We'll surely be attentive. Once again, thanks for watching.